But I want to move on to uh, the Ravens Giants game. Uh, not really happy about that one either. You know, Lamar Jackson. You know, if you notice, they're throwing the ball a lot more than they're running the ball. And I th- like I told you before, the the recipe to win in the NBA, I mean NBA, the NFL is to run the ball. Uh, they ran the ball 24 times to passing 32. Uh, and I think this is also around Lamar Jackson not wanting to run the ball. Lamar Jackson this year has had so many opportunities that to run the ball, and he hasn't. And as much as you don't want to be labeled as a running quarterback, use your legs to create. And use your legs to create opportunities for you to pass to the point where they're confused. You have to play the mind of the D coordinator, not the mind of the players. The D coordinator says, hey, you know what? We got to count for Lamar running, but let's kind of collapse this pocket and then let's uh let's let's clap this pocket and then let's um uh let's let's clap the pocket and then let's uh you know uh make him force him to pass the ball. He can do well passing the ball, but your number one receiver is out the game. Bateman's out. They double most time they double Mark Andrews throughout the whole game. So you have you have to run the ball like and the, the thing is I think his his timidness or his hesitancy or hesit him being hesitant to run the ball has really kind of affected him or hurt him when it comes to him uh, uh, being able to be a better passer. Continue to run the ball. Of course, he got seven seven on the ground, you know, seven carries. I don't like the – I like the runs when it's an RPO, you know, so we can see what's coming, but I don't like the, you know, um, the – what's it called? Uh, the uh, – uh, uh, the pre the, the the premeditated runs where they know they're gonna run because that, that really kind of helps him get banged up. I like the runs where he you know he kind of creates on his own. Um, yeah, outside of Mark Andrews, when your your top receiver you know is it has three receptions, twenty seven yards. You have two tight ends, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely. It's hard it's hard to create. Do I think the Giants are real? No, I I don't think the Giants are real. I do think the Giants are good though. I actually predicted them to be number two in the East. I think the Giants. I think Daniel Jones. People people sold out on Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones way too quick. I think Saquon Barkley is, is is they have a a lot of the zone runs for him have been doing well. Saquon Barkley's not a guy. I said this before. He's not a guy that runs between, that runs between the tackles. He's not. But if you give him an open space like they're doing right now, he can be able to create. Um, the challenge is going to be are they going to be able to pass? You know, um, I think Daniel Jones is doing a good enough job with what he has, uh, but. I think that where the separation between the, the Giants and the Eagles, the biggest thing is they have weapons, and the Giants don't have weapons. Um, so going going back to Philly, like Philly has their team defense is phenomenal, and, and I think that the Giants have a have a, a a fair defense, a good defense. Leonard Williams is a dog. Like I mean, like I think people sleep on you know Leonard Williams. Kayvon Kayvon Tim, no, he's okay. He's coming to his own. I like Adore Jackson out there. He's a good cover corner. Um, Xavier McKinney, you got an Alabama guy. So I think that they came in and and they had a game plan that was you know um, that was that was saying, hey, look, we want we want we're gonna stop the run and make and make you pass. Even though Kenyon Ken Drake did well on the ground, uh, but for you know Lamar Jackson to pass the ball, you know, uh, uh, thirty two times, I think it's, that's that's tough. Now, that towards the end of the game, it's a bad snap. I see Lamar Jackson makes a play. I'm, not, I'm I don't really care about that. He's he's making a play because if he if they would have caught the ball, it would have been a great play, you know. So if he, he threw an interception, it's a bad play. So it doesn't really it really doesn't really doesn't matter. I think that defense is a knuckle down though. Uh, you you let a team drive drive down and score on you. That's that's the big thing. Um, so you you can't you can't blame Lamar always blame Lamar Jackson, especially when he drives you down. Last week and accounts for 92% of the offense, and you give credit to a kicker. But if that were Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, you'll give credit to them instead of Lamar Jackson. You know, so uh, when when Lamar Jackson drove down last week and yeah, you know, last week against the Bengals, 92 he accounted for 92% of the offense, and they kicked the field goal to win, and no one said anything about that. They gave the credit to Justin Tucker, great kick, but Lamar Jackson got you out there. If the narrative was different. And if it was Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, which a lot of them don't even count for most of the offense, if they did that, it would be they won the game. So same scenario. Lamar Jackson understands that the media is subjective to to the narrative trying to set, and this is it's a campaign for him to fail, and he has to go out there and and three and three is not where he planned to be, but it's a long season. I still think Baltimore is the best team. Um, I think their defense is solid. The offense has to have more sustainable drives to get the defense off the field and then put more points on the board. And play and play four quarters, and, you know. Um, scoring quick is not is it's it's a curse, right? You score quick, you know. Your defense gets defense gets on the field and they get tired. 
But if you have these draw these long sustained drives, then there's benef- there's benefits there. But um, it, it's a catch twenty two.